All right, I think they mowed. I don't know what settings they mowed on. It looks like they mowed it at two and a half. Because I can see fresh clippings. Runway looks a little long in places. So I don't know what it'll do with the jet. I might try to bring a jet up tomorrow if I fly. Let's see where the winds. The winds are kind of mixed. They're mostly coming from cross runway here. So let's go. Let's get her up. Oh yeah, man. I haven't even touched the sticks. Right there was the first time I touched the sticks on that. Feels good. I got the battery where it's supposed to go. I need my sunglasses. Yep, the sun is in play. Need to get her down. Get, get in front of it. That's the turtle bark. <laughs> Hear a duck going through the woods. that throttle. I need a good turn up here. I haven't had a good one yet. There we go. That's better. Oh. Wow. That was bad. That's where I had problems before. So maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just being lazy on the sticks. I know what it was. As I was banking it with the elevator, I hit more down, down ailerons. That's what it was. That's what happened. There we go. <laughs> Whipping around. It's right, right above the sun's right above there. I do not have sunglasses on. The days keep getting later, so like normally this time of day, because it's, it's, it's just after 11, and that sun would be way behind us, but since we're losing so much daylight, the sun is staying lower throughout the day. Turtle should be out of view here soon. It was moving pretty fast, man. Little corkscrew action. Hopefully, I was looking up high enough. Take it down, look kind of long, bring it around because I'm going to let it loop over. I don't want to keep it out of the pits, even though there's nobody here. I still try to fly like there's somebody here. All right, that's a good warm-up flight. I just had to move my foot. Time to start. Time to start. I just had to move my foot. <laughs> right there she be. That's a pretty far walk. Oh, the turtle's going down the road there. He just went over that hump. So he's out of sight now. Motor off. He's moving pretty good though. <laughs> That turtle is like, there's Tuco using my patented water dish. That was a good idea. Just cut a hole in the bottom of the bucket the size of the water bowl. And I was pinning it down with tent stakes, but he, ever since I've quit pinning it down, he hasn't yet to knock it over. 
Imagine the first time he knocks it over, I'll start pinning it again. There he is, big turtle hunter. Get some water from all that barking. You can just barely see the turtle over there in the shadows going down the road. I don't know if Tuke can see him from, as he might not be able to see over that hump. Oh well, there he goes. Tuco in the shade. Jeff was in the sun. The mighty Viper. Here's where I like to have my battery. I like having it right there. My little four cell, 1300. Oh boy. Let's see, I got tape stuck to everything here. I got tape, I use a lot of tape to hold receivers and stuff. There we go. I should have came down sooner. I'm at 9%. There's about three sevens probably. Three six five. Yeah, three sixes. So I'm going to have to I'll balance this one on the charger so it can get some juice in it. There you have everything, man. Turtle in the shade. Tuco in the shade. Jeff in the sun with the Viper. We had some fun. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, become part of Team Let's Go Flying.